everyone, Demo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the most points out of the Balloon Pop minigame. So I've been playing this consistently, I've been doing relatively well, and I have a few tips and tricks to hopefully get you guys more points than you've been getting. Because uh, I heard a lot of people have been struggling a little bit with it, so I thought it'd be best if I can come on and maybe explain some things and maybe help you guys out. So if any of these tips helps, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know how to finish that sentence. Yeah, if anything helped, do let me know in the comment section below. Starting off, I'm doing this in the private server. It's less chaotic. It's far easier to realize what I'm doing. So I am on the blue team right now. Um, and honestly, as long as you get a combo, you should be relatively fine. And if you're afraid that you're going to miss a balloon, try and hit the other team's balloon just because it doesn't get rid of your combo, which I think is a really, really good part of it, is it does not diminish your combo. Instead, it keeps it going. So yeah, personally, go into a... Uh, go into a private server because in public servers everyone's gonna be going for the golden balloons and you're gonna be wanting those You are gonna be wanting those gold balloons. Oh, I just missed that <laughs> You're gonna be wanting those gold balloons So go into a private server so you don't have to fight for them and again remember if you're afraid your combo is going to d Diminish just quickly jump onto the other teams I am so bad at this minigame is something I've just realized. It's because I've just woke up. Don't judge me too harshly. But yes, you've got to keep your combo up as high as possible. I prefer using this downward view just because it is a lot easier to figure out where you're going. And again, just jump on the other team's balloons because it's in it's in a solo server. You're not going to have too many issues with that. You're still going to win the minigame. So it's not an issue. And then just keep focusing, if you can, on the gold. If you can, try and get to the gold's do. Because you're going to get so many more points. Look at me right now. I've got 200. I just... I keep missing. I, I get stage fright, okay? I get stage fright. <laughs> I get stage fright, okay. But yeah, if you're scared you're not going to hit the right ones, go over to the other team's ones, land on them, and it will keep your streak going. So after this, I have gotten... 3,650 tickets because I popped 10 golden balloons and 52 blue balloons. My highest combo is 23. I'm not usually that bad, okay? I just woke up. Um, but yeah, that is how you can get a really, really good amount of tickets. 3,650 is not a laughing matter. That's probably one of the highest I've gotten if I didn't consistently miss. Okay, again, I just woke up. Don't judge me too much, but um, yeah, that is how you can get the max amount of points in the balloon popping minigame. Let me know in the comment section below if any of these tips have helped you. Remember, private server, stay consistent on the gold balloons, and go hit the other team's balloons if you're afraid you're going to miss your streak. I believe your streak maximizes the money you can get as well, or slash tickets. Um, so if you're afraid you're not going to manage to hit a balloon, hit the enemy team's balloon because it does not get rid of your combo. The combo keeps going on as long as you hit any balloon. It doesn't matter which one. As long as you hit a balloon, the combo is consistent. Anyway, that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye.